Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another weekly Grind Wednesdays. I know I have not been as uh, active in doing my weekly grind videos in the past, I'd say, month. Uh, and that's just because it, uh, the schedule has changed. I'm trying to realign my YouTube work along with my new schedule, and I figured a good way to do it. Instead of doing a weekly grind video every single Wednesday with both versions, we're just going to split the versioning up. So this week we're going to be doing the weekly grind of the global Dokkan battle. Next week will be the JP weekly grind, and the following week we'll go back to global and we'll just do it every other week. This helps out in a couple ways because one, we can now do the weekly grinds and they'll actually be more useful information. A lot of it is very repetitive because the same events that were around the week prior are usually around the same exact week. And when new events come out, I typically talk about it. When brand new events come out, I will always talk about it with uh, data downloads and everything like that. So... Let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to go and talk about the global side, global weekly grind. This is all the events that are currently available and the actual Dokken festivals. So there's really not a lot. So this video is probably going to be about 10 minutes long. Uh, I know the videos are usually 25 minutes for the weekly grind. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The first one is a new threat. The same warrior race invades that runs until June 8th at 11 p.m. P uh, Pacific time. This is an event where you can actually get the Raditz the Vegeta and Kid Gohan. You don't really need any of them. It's more just for nostalgia, for collective purposes at this point. If you have the OG Vegeta and Nappa, you could actually increase their super attack. The naming is a little bit different, but they still increase the actual super attack by 100%. I guess the cards are still the same, even though the, the titles are different. So that's cool. That's really awesome. Uh, you also have this Gohan here who really doesn't do anything. I mean, rare chance of clear increasing all allies attack by 25% is really horrible. Back in the day, it was cool. Uh, we also get a powerful support item. It is Princess Snake. Recover 55% HP and reduce damage received by 30% for one turn. It's really not that bad if you consider it. Um, she's a pretty good support item, so you can go ahead and grind that out. This event allows you to uh, Doken Awaken your Great Ape Vegeta, your Great Ape Raditz, and uh, the free-to-play uh, Nappa that is available. So you have to go and get the Moon Nappa from the last event, or the last level, in order to do that. Uh, notably, from the event, Stage 3 is going to be Kid Gohan. Piccolo and Goku medals are stage 4 and 5. A Nappa medal, or Nappa, the card is available on stage 7. Krillin medals are on stage 8. And 9 is the Vegeta card. 10 is the Nappa moon medals. So go ahead and do that. If anything, at least do it for the Dragon Stones. It's really worth getting the Dragon Stones. Um, also, the Chiaotsu medals are on stage 7. Those are used to Doken Waken the cards. Um, anyway, that's that. Um, the next one is going to be a one. The One Beyond God Descends Ultra Instinct is now on. So it's the Ultra Instinct event. Uh, a lot of you already know what's going on with that. That runs until June 3rd, so we have some time as well for that to go, uh, to go and do it. Plus, when it comes back, uh, it's Intelligence and it's Hero, so it's going to be back every Intelligence Day and every Super Day. So at least once on the weekend and once during the week. I would still recommend doing it. I actually fully finished grinding it out. I ground, grinded out every single medal that I needed from the Ultra Instinct event. Um, I haven't Doken Awakened everything, but my UI Goku, the Strength Godku, the Agility Godku, and the Goku Blue cards all have enough Doken Awakened medals in order to do that. Once I Doken Awakened the Ultra Instinct Goku, this event became such a piece of cake. Um, again, as I was saying before, the medals are there going to be for those cards I mentioned. That's going to be the Ultra Instinct Goku if you pull him, the Goku Blue, the Agility Godku, and the Strength Godku. Those are the cards, those are the units, really awesome ones that Doken Awaken, especially the Strength one, the Strength one you really want to awaken. My order that I did it was the Ultra Instinct Goku, then the Godku. If I had more Dupaz, I would have uh, done the uh, the Godku Blue card, or the uh, Agility Godku card. And I mean, this guy too is pretty cool when he Doken Awakens, attack and defense plus 90%, attack plus 50% in addition when facing two or more enemies. So he can be very powerful, but... <clears throat> Uh, I, I'm going to wait and hold off on him because I don't even think I have dupe. I don't even have him on the global side. Um, the event is also available. Um, oh, wait a second. Did I click on... Oh, no. This is the actual story event. <laughs> um, this is the Universe Survival Saga Tournament of Power Commencement. Uh, this runs until June 3rd as well. Uh, there's so much to grind here. You have Khalifa's on Stage 2, Kale's on Stage 3, um, Kaba Metals on Stage 6, and Kale and Khalifa Metals on Stage 7. When you get Stage 2, you have Khalifa's uh, you're going to grind them out. She will Doken Awaken into Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. Uh, you're going to need to Z-Awaken her, and Doken Awaken her, get her to level 80, Z-Awaken her again to increase the super attack of the Agility Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla card by one. So you have to grind out nine of them and Doken Awaken all of them, Z-Awaken them again to increase the super attack level of the Agility Khalifla. I would recommend doing it, not highly, but attack, I think it's like attack plus 90% of that Agility card does, so it's pretty worth it in my opinion. Uh, unfortunately, Kale does not increase the super attack of her Berserk form, but that means you could run both her 
and the Berserk form on the same level. She's also a very good support unit. Uh, Kaba, I would I would highly recommend getting all four two pairs unlocked because it's a really good free to play card, and he's going to honestly until a better Kaba comes out, if a better one comes out, uh, the free to play version is going to be a staple on a Universe Survival Saga team on for the foreseeable future. Um, so that, stage seven, I mean, uh, you you get additional drops of medals and cards when you use a Universe Survival Saga team. I think I had like 170 something percent, I believe, uh, when I had all my uh, 120s on there. Uh, it's kind of worth it. Stage seven for the Kale and Khalifa medals. Khalifa, you need five medals of each of her to Doken Awaken the strength one. You need 10 of her to Doken Awaken the agility one. Kale, you need five each to Doken Awaken her free to play form. I did all four Dupes because that's just what I wanted to do. I wouldn't recommend increasing the super attack. Makes no sense since she's a support unit. Um, I just increased her super attack. Doken Awakened her, did all four, that's it. But most of you guys will probably be good enough if you don't want to do the grind to at least get her a Super Attack 10 and Doken Awaken her. Uh, the Kefla also Doken Awakens with these medals, so you need 10 of each of those medals to Doken Awaken Kefla. And that's about it. So that's uh, this is the uh, Strength one, this is the Intelligence one, as you guys probably already know. Uh, this is what she Doken Awakens into. You need to get 10 of her, or 9 of her to increase the Super Attack of level 9, or the Agility one. Then you want to get another 5 for all four do pads and the main card Super Attack 10. Um, same thing here for the Kale, uh, the Kaba, which I was talking about, the Doken Awakening. I'm not Doken Awakening mine as of yet. I'm going to wait until I get four Dupads unlocked, which I have not done yet. And then I'm going to go ahead and Doken Awaken him. I already have all the, uh, the actual medals, though, for him. Uh, this is the Summonable Khalifa that I talked about. She will, in uh, she will, uh, Doken Awaken as well. Don't Doken Awaken her till you increase her super attack. Uh, same thing with, uh, well, Kale, you can just Doken Awaken her because they don't feed into each other. But, I highly recommend doing Kale, and then Khalifa is going to be ten of each. Um, and that's about it as of right now, so definitely go ahead and do that. It runs for a while. I already did all mine. There are some mission rewards as well, but I didn't complete all of them. Just enough to get the Dragon Stones, so uh, definitely highly recommend doing that. We have the Dragon Ball Super Universe Survival Saga, which is also available. Runs until 528. Um, you're going to have over here, let's see, Sensu Beans are going to be available on Stage 2. Stage 3 is going to be Goku, who will also Doken Awaken into Ultra's Instant Goku. From the medals you can get of him from stage 12, you can increase the Ultra Instinct Goku free to play by grinding all of them out. I did that's how I got my Ultra Instinct Goku to Super Attack 10. <clears throat> Highly recommend doing that. In terms of this unit, you can get him Super Attack 10 with all four Dupes unlocked. With you Doken Awaken all of them if you want to. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Um, I, I'm, that's not going to feed in any dupe system unless something great happens with him. Uh, but yeah, he is there. The Goku also drops as an SR. He's also a base form Goku. So you can grind them out for the 1,000-day Goku if you want to. Z-Awaken, I think it's like maybe 30%, uh, I believe. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but you could you could use those for farming. Or if you really want to do the 1% chance, you can go ahead and farm out the rare Gokus that have a guaranteed drop rate, which you could drop like four or five of them from the OG original beginner epic battle showdown event that's um, that's available. I think it's only like uh, eight stam or something like that too for ZR. Uh, Kachin medals are available on state, or Kachin, Kachin uh, items or monetary value for Baba Shop, and you can get them from stage four. Um, I'm not doing that myself, but you could definitely do that. You have uh, Urine, who's available to grind out from stage eight, free to play card, not really worth, but she's free to play. Um, Ultimate Gohan is available on stage nine, definitely worth increasing the super attack of all your Ultimate Gohans. Uh, my opinion is going to be the, um, the strength one, then the it's going to be probably the intelligence one. Um, then it's going to be split between the agility and the physical one. It depends on how you want to do it. Um, that's really about it. I think there's also the tech one, So, but I think he is the SR. Uh, you have Frieza over here who's available from Stage 10. He will Doken Awaken into Golden Angel Frieza, so you could increase the super attack of your Golden Angel Frieza, uh, which I actually have to do. I have to do that grind, so I'm, I'm probably going to be doing that grind at some point because I pulled the Revive Frieza as well. So you're going to need to grind out these guys. You need to get nine of them, and then you need to grind out Stage 11, for the medals to Doken Awaken him, so definitely get on that game. Um, and then, yeah, that's about it. He's Doken Awaken to this Golden Angel Freeze of Form, and you have to Z-Awaken him in order to increase the super attack. Um, so yeah, that's a thing, so go ahead and do that. That's going to be running for a couple, about another week, the 28th, six more days. So, uh, yeah, get on that grind. Uh, Bizarre Rabbit Mob event is here. Uh, not really worth grinding anything. I mean, I did a full overview, like, back when I started YouTubing about this. Um, it's, it's open till 524. You only have two more days available for this. Uh, you can get the Monster Carrot over here. He essentially he's just a stunner. That's all it really is. Um, it's a pain in the butt. You can only use spe a special team. Uh, you will Doken Awaken. You can Doken Awaken your Bulma Youth here. The uh, Bunny Bulma and the Dragon Ball, original Dragon Ball Bulma are your Doken Awakens. It's a pain in the butt. You just got to keep on grinding, 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 and then you can go ahead and do it. It's pretty awesome. Runs until 524 again, two more days. If you want to go ahead and Doken Awaken any of the Bulbas. I think the only one that's kind of worth it, I think it's the tech one. She seals super attacks. 
Um, and yeah, that's about it. The tech one. I mean, this one is okay, but her, um, actually, she kind of sucks. Because when, even when you Doken Awaken her, her HP regeneration is just horrible. The next one is going to be the Gratitude of Adventure is available. Or, uh, uh, yeah, Adventure of Gratitude. Runs until 524, so runs ends in two days. Um, you can go ahead and get the Goku Youth. You can increase any of the Goku Youths with this. You now Doken Awakens. It's from the part of the second year. He will get a third year as well. Um, so you can go ahead and do that if you want to. Remember, third year's right around the corner. Um, but you don't really need to do that if you don't want to. It's just there for some Dragon Stones if you want to. Uh, the Doken Festivals. Now we're now moving on to the summons. Uh, Doken Festival for the tech. Doken Festival is available. Runs until 523. So we'll end tomorrow night. Um, I don't recommend summoning on this. I mean, I, I have all the units. Uh, you can if you want to. Just keep in mind. Um, so it, this is kind of mixed. I, I did, talk, did a full review on that if you want to go check out that video. Merge Zamasu doesn't have a replacement yet. He's still really good. He's still good on a mono extreme tech team. Just chances of you running a mono extreme tech team. Very limited. Um, he doesn't... Uh, he's good for a, a villain's team as well, especially because his passive HP attack and, uh, as attack plus 120%. Uh, just, you don't really run him as often, but he does have a farmable super attack, so he's good. The tech golden Frieza is a very good tank, and because the revival Frieza, the angel Frieza, links very well with him, he's definitely worth it. And the tech um, Super Saiyan 3 go tanks is a staple on a mono super tech team. Probably a little bit more viable to run that, but you do also have the physical one that replaces him, so any other team except for Super Tech, you're probably not going to run him. I'm not going to tell you not to summon on it. You get one guaranteed of these three uh, from a multi-summon of 50 stones, so if you really are lacking tech characters, you can go and do that. Um, they are viable. They are decent units. Uh, the, the, you just, I mean, the Tech Gotenks is just... I mean, maybe I'm biased because mine's 100%, and my Zamasu is 100%, and my Freeze is 100%, so I don't need any of them. But uh, the three of them are there, so if you're going to summon on that, just remember that it ends tomorrow night. This one is the uh, Goku UI Goku and Jiren banner that is available, runs until 6-3. You have some time available for that. Uh, I did all the steps. I did steps 1 through 8. If you want to go ahead and do that, go right ahead. Good luck on your summons. It's definitely worth it. I definitely recommend summoning on this banner. Uh, this is a very, very good banner. These three are phenomenal units. Um, especially Jiren, if you get Jiren and he Doken Awakens, I have top left, bottom right, do path. I'm very happy. I got one Goku Ultra Instinct and one Golden Frieza, so I'm happy. I did not get the Android 18, which is odd. But, uh, yeah, so if you guys get those units, definitely worth the summon. I highly recommend summoning on that. And the World Tournament ex exclusive summons end tomorrow night if you guys want to do that. I'll probably do one GSSR. I haven't, I didn't do one yesterday, but I'll probably do another one tonight. Uh, GSSR to get a guaranteed SSR summon. So that's both the uh, GSSR banner and the Dragon Ball banner summon. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's this week's weekly grind. Stay tuned for next week if you want to check out the JP events. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Let me know if this was helpful and informative. Let me know what you guys are excited for. Thank you, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.